Hey parents, there are a lot of church words that get thrown around but aren't often defined by leaders like me. And one of those I want to talk to you about today, it's fasting, because uh, we're, we're about to lead into Easter and a lot of churches around us are going to do some fasting for Lent, 40 days leading up to Easter. And depending on your family's church experience or faith background, your kid or you might have questions about fasting, like, is fasting just not eating? Can you drink water while you're fasting? What about coffee? Can you fast from homework? <laughs> nice try, kid. But, but really, what, what's even the point of fasting? And then there are even tougher questions uh, we adults that we need to consider. Like, how do we talk about fasting when so many kids, even elementary kids, parents, even elementary kids, don't gloss over this, they're already wrestling with body image and eating disorders? Or what if you don't have enough food to eat that you home already had? How does that work into the future? Or, or is your family experiencing food insecurities because there's past traumas in, in, in your family history? Or are there even medical conditions that make fasting from food very dangerous? Are you starting to see why we need to be wise when we talk about this particular spiritual discipline with our kids? Yeah, me too. So how do we do it? How do we talk about fasting to our kids in a healthy way? Because there's going to be all kinds of fasting talk. It may not use the word fasting, but over the next Leading, or leading into Easter, it's, it's going to be a topic in some of our schools, in some of our churches. We want you to be able to be prepared to have those healthy conversations. So I've got some ideas for you. Five ideas today. Number one, define or maybe even redefine fasting. Try telling your kids fasting is a temporary discipline that can help us grow closer to God. It's not a way to punish ourselves or to, to blackmail God. It's, it's about temporarily avoiding something we don't need so we can focus on something better. Uh, number two, decide what to give up. Doctors discourage, did, did you know this? Doctors discourage fasting from food before kids hit puberty. So give them some other ideas. They can fast from yelling at their siblings. Whoa. Yeah, of course. All right, uh, they can fast from from leaving toys all over the house. Be creative. Find something that works for you. You know, they can even fast by giving away some of their clothes or toys that they don't need. Uh, number three, decide on a goal. As a family, fasting is more about what you can gain than what you actually give up. Help your kids. Help you. Set goals for what you want to do, like reading instead of, instead of doing that thing, or praying, or, or being silent. Or instead of yelling at your siblings, maybe be encouraging to one of your siblings. What a concept. Then number four, decide on a time frame. And keep it short. You can grow a lot even in just a week. All right, and, and then number five, debrief. A lot of times we set these goals and we, we go, we go, we go, and then we forget to talk about them afterwards. Ask your kids how it went. Was it harder than what you thought? What did they learn? What did they gain? That's the goal. You can really, you, you really can't introduce your family to spiritual disciplines like fasting in age-appropriate ways. It will take some extra intentionality and wisdom, depending on your situation, but it matters.